back. Uh, let's welcome our entire research team now to give us a long list of stocks that one can watch out for today. Anuj, let's start off with you. What's on your radar? Uh, Sonia, I think uh, stocks with momentum may continue to do well. So two stocks that I've picked up purely for momentum in the second half yesterday. One was PTC, a uh, big uh, buying in that particular stock in the cash market and in the FNO market. And the second was Titan. If you saw the intraday chart of Titan yesterday, there was big recovery in that particular stock. Uh, again, an FNO stock. So that would be the second stock to watch out for. All right. Uh, Nimesh, yesterday after market hours, we heard that LNT Finance would be offering its... Uh, Shares for sale. Well, other this is a this looks like it's a last tranche of LNT selling its stake in LNT Finance. Remember, you know LNT still holds 76.6 percent stake, and they have to bring that stake down to 75 percent, which is the minimum public float norm of SEBI. Now, uh, as I said, you know this is a this could be the last tranche. So, in this OFS, they are looking to sell at least 1.65 crore shares, and they have an additional option of selling another 1.1 crore shares. So, if they if they manage to sell the entire 2.5 2, 2, 2 or 2.6 crore shares in this OFS, which means LNT will, will finally, you know, bring its stake down to 75%. And uh, this uh, OFS, is pri uh, the floor price is 74. I believe, you know, uh, the, since the current market price is 81, you might see, you know, the, the, the OFS happening around, around the current level. So, watch it for this particular stock because even last time when the OFS happened, there was, a, there was a sharp dip in the stock price because the floor price was much, much lower. And remember, there was a big history about one of the hedge funds, you know, uh, doing a manipulation in that particular stock. So, I'll be watching out for LNT Finance simply because this looks like it's the last tranche of an OFS coming in from parent LNT, uh, looking to bring the stake down from current 76.6% to 75%. All right. Uh, well, uh, United Bank, uh, long uh, for the past three, four months, has only been asked to bring down its balance sheet, but now it can increase its balance sheet size, Ekta? Absolutely, Lata. Well, the RBI has partially relaxed that lending cap which was imposed on United Bank. So now the RBI has allowed the bank to mull loan proposals up to 200 crores, which will include for corporate houses as well as PSUs, however, which are rated AAA. Remember that the RBI had imposed this restriction of lending beyond 10 crores by the bank because of uh, the disastrous uh, Q3 FI40 numbers that it reported. Remember that the bank, however, has to ensure two conditions, ensure that its uh, credit deposit rate doesn't go beyond 70% and the ca capital adequacy does not fall below 9% at the end of Q1 F5-15. Uh, the bank itself has told us that they are not focused on credit growth but focused on recoveries as well as upgrades. Uh, for example, they've done around 300 crores of uh, cash recoveries in this quarter itself. They are aiming for around 700 to 800 crores odd of cash recoveries or upgrades in this quarter. They did around uh, 645 crores in terms of recoveries in the last quarter and upgrades of around 40 188 crores in order to ensure a revival on their asset quality. All what? right. Sorry, we'll come back to you, Ekta, for other banks that you are tracking. Uh, but Sonia, you have something on Apollo Tires. Yes, in fact, uh, Credit Suisse has uh, raised their target price on Apollo Tires to 233 from 190 earlier. Remember, Apollo Tires has seen significant amount of gains because of the fall that we've seen in rubber prices. Credit Suisse has also raised their FY16 uh, EPS by 7 to 14%. They say that 50% of the revenues that Apollo Tires gets comes from the commercial vehicle segment. And with um, the uh, commercial vehicle recovery in sight, uh, Apollo could be a big beneficiary of that. The margins will also improve because of a fall in rubber prices. Well, let's go across to Anshu now. She has something on Coal India for us. Anshu? Coal Ministry will be in the second batch as we all know that all secretaries are slated to give a presentation on their sectors to the Prime Minister Narendra Modi likely sometime this week but the date is not confirmed yet. Sources say Coal Ministry has outlined a number of priorities which includes enhancement of production. Cu current target of coal production uh, set by Coal India is at 507 million tons and next year's uh, target is set around 574 million tons. Ministry is also looking at working on legal framework for commercial mining which may help attract private investments in this sector. The other big priority is to restructure Coal India to give autonomy to four of its uh, subsidiaries like Eastern Coal Fields, uh, Southeastern Coal Fields and others. Ministry feels there, uh, there's a need of uh, three critical uh, rail lines in states like Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Orissa to evacuate uh, idle uh, coal which is lying there. The presentation also focuses on fast tracking of environment and forest clearances. Remember that is one of the 
road block uh, for uh, production of coal. Meanwhile, the ministry has set a target of auctioning six coal blocks for captive use, of which three have already been advertised for sectors like cement, steel and iron. It also plans to set aside uh, four coal blocks for three ultra-mega power projects, we, which may come up in states like Bihar, Chhattisgarh and Telangana. That aside, four coal blocks have been set aside for tariff bids specifically for the power sector in this financial year. So that's a big list for the coal ministry. Back to you. All right. Uh, thanks so much, Anshu, for that. Well, uh, let's get back to talking about some uh, brokerage views that have come in. Ekta, you have Kotak Mahindra Bank on your radar? Absolutely, Sonia. Deutsche Bank has upgraded Kotak to buy with a target price of 1,080 rupees. It, it implies a 20% upside potential from current levels. The upside potential is based on the following, according to them, big beneficiary of the capital market revival. Secondly, there will be higher operating leverage in the banking, broking, and as well as other subsidies which will come through, such as their AMC business, as well as uh, their lending business. Uh, besides that, the investment in the distribution network, according to them, will result in sustained growth over the next few years and they believe that there could be some amount of uh, lesser stress in the, stra in the stressed asset book which will eventually enhance the earnings significantly for Kotak. They do, uh, uh, they do uh, believe that it is trading at expensive valuations of around 2.7 times F516 price to book value but the expensive valuations according to them are justified. All right. Uh, speaking of research reports, uh, we saw this big run-up in cement prices, cement stocks uh, prices. But Nigel, uh, you have someone shaking their heads in disbelief? Indeed, Lata. Actually, I thought a few more heads would be shaking their heads <laughs> in uh, disbelief. But JP Morgan, they are the first to come out. In fact, they have... Uh they have uh, downgraded uh, Ultratech cement to underweight, while in fact they maintain their underweight stance on Ambuja cements. And finally, in fact, they are quite positive uh, on uh, Grass Sim cement. But uh, in fact, we'll focus on a couple of stocks on Ambuja cements as well as Grass Sim, just to touch, uh, touch two different groups. Now, importantly, what they say in their report is that in fact, the stocks are trading at around 11 times EV point of beta, so that's fairly expensive, uh, expensive given that after the big run-up, uh, uh, Ambuja as well as Ultratech cement, both of them are trading at $200 per ton. That's on an EV basis. Clearly, they're quite candid in stating that, in fact, their stock calls have gone wrong, but, in fact, their earnings calls have gone right. The, the point that they, uh, that they say is that, in fact, they have gone wrong, in fact, uh, in... in uh, in estimating the valuations that people are willing to pay for these particular counters after them running up uh, so high. But importantly, they are saying that by FI17, we could see a turnaround because they're expecting demand to grow at 10%. Though in the near term, that's FI15, they're not expecting it uh, uh, to go too much higher. And by FI17 itself, they're not expecting capacity utilization to go beyond 75% uh, odd. The cement demand has improved at the ground level, but in fact, stocks are trading at their peak valuations. And in fact, they are close to the most expensive in the world. So on the back of that, in fact, they are underweight on uh, Ambuja cements as well as on Altitec cement, while in fact, they're positive on Grassum cement, only because in fact, that holding company discount has, uh, has come down. All right, Sonia, uh, speaking of research reports, uh, some reports coming in on TVS. Yes, in fact, an upgrade coming in from Deutsche Bank. Uh, they are a little late in the game because TVS has been rallying quite a bit. But they've raised their target price uh, to 115 on the stock. Look at where the stock is. That is already at 130. But they say that they expect another uh, good improvement in earnings from here on, a 25% increase in FY16 EPS. They expect the stock to get re-rated further to 13 times FY16 versus 11 times earlier. And uh, uh, there will be an improvement in market share. So uh, because of new launches, that will actually aid recovery in earnings. And also uh, looking at what they've done in the past six months, the new launch Jupiter that was launched in uh, September helped increase their scooter market share by almost 120 basis points. So all hopes are on uh, the new launches in the next six months that will perhaps uh, you know, propel the stock further. Here's a quick recap of our top 10 stocks in case you missed out on them. PTC, uh, Titan, l and Finance, United Bank, Coal India, Kotak Mahindra Bank, Ambuja Cement, Grassim, Apollo Tires and TBS.